Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and this is a podcast series where I will be discussing on various diseases every day. So let's start a case. A couple presents to your clinic with a chief complaint of infertility after 5 years of unprotected intercourse. The wife denies of any medical problem and notes regular menstrual cycle. The husband states that he has chronic sinusitis and lower respiratory tract infection. Physical examination of the woman is unremarkable. Examination of the man is remarkable for dextrocardia. So this is a case of Cartagena syndrome. So what is Cartagena syndrome? Basically, Cartagena syndrome is because of the pathology of motility of cilia. There is missing or reduced dining arm in the cilia and because of that you get immotile cilia. Basically what happens in embryo, visceral rotation of abdominal and thoracic organs depends on the normal cilia reaction. So if you have abnormal or immobile cilia, so proper rotation of abdominal and thoracic organs do not take place. And that is why you get reverse positions of these thoracic and abdominal organs. And that is manifested as situs inversus. Basically, Cartagena syndrome is manifested in three important ways. Number one, bronchiactaceous. Number two, chronic sinusitis. Number three, situs inversus. So I have discussed about situs inversus where thoracic and abdominal organs reverse their position. And if you can remember, in the case the man presented with chronic sinusitis. So the man may also present with bronchiactasis because this is the triad. So always remember this triad for Cartagena syndrome, bronchiactasis, chronic sinusitis and situs inversus. Bronchiactasis, chronic sinusitis and situs inversus. And this may also affect some males fertility because you know sperms has flagella and this flagella can be affected and this can create immobile spermatozoa so it can make a male infertile so basically as it affects the mucociliary escalator which is there in our trachea because of this you get respiratory infection it may be upper respiratory tract infection or lower respiratory tract infection it may be rhinitis it may be rhinorrhea it may be bronchiectasis and it may be chronic sinusitis so basically what is the diagnosis for diagnosis purpose we use CXR CT of the chest for determining the situs inversus dextrocardia respiratory infection pneumonia and bronchiectasis and for treatment we use antibiotic for lung infection immunization steroid and bronchodilators Okay, so this is the end of this podcast. If you like our podcast, please make a thumbs up and subscribe our channel if you are new to the channel. Thank you.